In this video, I will show you all the different fees when leverage trading on the platform Femex. We will take a look at what fees there are, how high they are. I will show you some examples and a comparison to other exchanges. If you want to get the best sign up bonus possible on Femex, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page here and you can pick up many different bonuses. They might change over time. Sometimes you can pick up to two or three thousand dollars. Currently, they have an event where you have an airdrop where you can get some PT tokens as well as easily pick up up $50 of welcome rewards. All you have to do then is just go up here to register now. If you clicked on the link and then you will see right here that you are eligible for all the nice bonuses. To create an account you can just enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. It only takes 30 seconds. All right, so let's jump right into the fees. First of all, we are gonna go through all the order fees. So you have to pay them when you open or close a position. We have to look at here contract. Spot market is only if you're trading on a spot market, but in this case, we are gonna look at contract. So for leverage trading, we have to look at contract. First of all, there is the maker fee of 0.01%. Maker fee means that you always have to pay it when you're losing a limit order. A limit order means in trading, right here on the right side, if you choose to use a limit order, you can set a certain price in here, for example, at 38,000. And then only if the price goes down to that price, then the order will be executed. The fee for that is always a little bit lower because you're effectively placing um, an offer in the order book, which is of course useful for the platform and therefore the fees are a bit lower. As you can see, 0.01% is incredibly low of a fee. The other fee that you have is a taker fee of 0.06%. This fee is a little bit higher and this always occurs when you're using a market order. So if you choose right here market, you cannot set any price because you are entering the market immediately at the current market price. The fee for that is a bit higher because you're effectively taking an order on the order book and it's called taker because you're taking an order and limit order is maker because you are making and writing an order into the order book. All right, let's look at a comparison. As you can see, Femex has pretty good fees. We see the 0.01 and 0.06% of maker and taker fee. I also calculated an average for you of 0.035%. That means for a $10,000 position, for example, we would have to pay a $3.50 fee. I always mention this, the fee is incredibly low and doesn't really matter. You know, the Bitcoin price can move up a few percent up or down within a day. So the 0.035% don't matter at all that much. And you also have to know, for example, if you have a long position with $10,000 and it goes up only 1% the price of Bitcoin, you would make $100 of profit. So therefore the $3.50 don't really make up a big portion. But it's definitely nice to see that Femex definitely stands well against all these other exchanges, although they are pretty similar in fees. The last fee that also can occur is the so-called funding fee, which you can always see up here. There is a timer when it occurs and there is a rate. The rate is important. If this is positive, then you have to pay it if you have a long position and you will actually be credited that amount of your position size if you have a short position. On the other way, if here is a minus before, so it's a negative value, then you will get it granted if you have a long position and you will have to pay it if you are, have a short position. It's also important that the fee only occurs when this timer goes to zero and you have a position opened at that time. So if you close your position before the timer goes reaches zero and you open one after it again, you won't have to pay any fee. By the way, this countdown has an eight hour interval. So if it goes to zero, it starts back at eight hours and then it goes down again. And these are basically all the fees that you have to keep in mind on Femex. Don't forget to create an account on Femex by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign up bonus possible. Just click here on register now and then you are ready to go. If you need more tutorials on Femex, how to deposit money or how to leverage trade on here, I have many tutorials on my channel. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.